Salute to you for joining me. I appreciate you here on Rasta's Realities, where the real is raw and the truth is the law. To all of those whose fathers and dads, both with and away from them, it isn't enough just to have one day to appreciate them. As being a father, no matter the situation, like everything in life has a degree of difficulty. A dad teaches even when he's not around. It depends on the child or the children's mindset, whether or not they love, hate, or are indifferent, and to mold a prosperous life for themselves as a result of whatever interactions they've had with their dad, if any. For example, my dad, when he was in, the, in, in my city, I would visit him as much as possible to spend as much time with him, learning his mannerisms, thoughts on various things. Even when it did not sit well with me or left me feeling a certain way, it was all good as long as I could speak, see, or touch him. All interactions were good interactions by my standards. And for those who have not had the pleasure of meeting your dad, spending time with your dad, or, or have lost your dad, I am speaking for all men of the nation. We are with you in solidarity. We understand how you feel. But please understand that without that man, you will not be here. His absence, my father's absence, taught me something that his present his presence couldn't have. That was how to be a father to my boys. How it taught me was the fact of his absence. It granted me some insight and a deep yearning to be righteous. Everything that I learned from being the eldest of three boys on my mom's side of the family, combined with the interactions and misinteractions with my father, created within me a strong, a clear, and concise, well-rounded individual. But it only worked out that way because of what I mentioned earlier about the mindset of the child or children. No matter how my mother spoke about my father, he was always great in my eyes. Yes, even when, even in difficult times where I yearned to see him. I was able to call him up and soak up all of the southern accentuated words that he spoke. So salute to the dads, fathers, in all situations. They are appreciated and needed all throughout the nation. No time for bitterness in any generation. I'm planning to visit mine on my vacation. We love you all despite whether or not above ground or out of sight. You've done so much in many ways. It is because of you that I am able to say salute to you and happy Father's Day. Thank you for joining me here on Rasta's Reality. Subscribe and share if you like what you hear. And speaking of like, hit that like button as it promotes the channel using YouTube's algorithm. I am Rasta Akil Beaumont for Rasta's Realities. Peace.
peace to you.